So we need now try to see the properties of the to see the properties of these cathode rays. So what was the property of the cathode ray that they moved from, from cathode to anode? Right? They were not visible. That means they were being caused by particles which were extremely small, not visible to our eyes. But its impact on the materials which were phosphorescent, like zinc sulfide, that was visible, right? Not visible themselves, but produced small blips of light. on phosphorescent material. On phosphorescent material. Right? In absence of any magnetic or electric field, they tend to travel straight. So they travel straight. in absence of an electric or magnetic field. Okay. And then In presence of electric and magnetic fields, in presence of electric and magnetic fields, they behave as negatively charged particles. And the final one, that their characteristics do not depend on glass or the gas in the tube. So, what fundamental particles, right? So were fundamental mental particles and were named electrons. Were named electrons. Okay.